Hello guys, welcome to Cinematics. Welcome to another video from our series of a daily dose of mathematics. We are doing difficult questions of A-levels mathematics once every day till your exam day. So let's give it a start. Today's question is from paper three, integration. It's a unique idea. Usually students get really a hard time getting into this idea and it's really not intuitive actually so you have to keep an eye out for this sort of a tactic so let's uh, first look at the question and then we'll proceed so i'll show you what the question is you have to find an integral find an integral of u over u plus 3 du uh, you, they can use a, a variable x as well, but I'm using a variable u over here. So for this question, I would uh, highly appreciate almost all of you to pause this video right here and think about this question for a while. And it might take you like a good five, 10 minutes to uh, give multiple tries on to multiple ideas. And once you're done with that, uh, then you can come back to look at the solution. So for those of you who have tried it and have been successful, congratulations, that's great. And for those of you who have been struggling with it, let me show you what the actual solution is. Now there are multiple things on which we can try to think over here. The very first idea uh, is to involve logarithms. And we want to do this operator that if you have a function in the denominator and you have derivative of that function on top, that is usually log of the denominator. This goes here. And uh, this idea can't really be worked over here because if you take u plus three as denominator, the problem that we are going to have is that the differentiation will become one and over in the numerator, you do not have one, you already have u and you are not able to get rid of that u. So because you are not allowed to introduce or remove variables in an integral sign. So this is the first idea that we cannot work with. The second idea, that you can think of while using fractions is the one for tan inverse, that when you have one plus something squared in the denominator and you have differentiation of that something, that gives us tan inverse of that box. Now this idea also can't really be used over here because let me help you think a little bit over here. Uh, if you take three common, I will be left with one plus u over three in the, new, uh, in the denominator. And even if I try to make that one over three work, let me just show you in a couple of steps. So it would start looking something like, even if we take this three outside, it would be very difficult to make one plus something squared and differentiation of that should be uh, u. So this idea will not work as well. So what should we do then? The idea is a little bit counterintuitive as I told you guys in the beginning. The idea is to use long division for partial fractions. As you can see that this is an improper fraction right now, we will do long division and split this fraction into partial fractions. It is an improper fraction because the maximum power of the numerator and the maximum power of the denominator are equal. So I have an expression u over u plus three, and I want to uh, go through long division. So I will have u in the numerator and u plus three in the denominator. Now, first of all, let's decide quotient. Quotient is always inner first term divided by outer first term. So I know that the quotient is going to be one. Let's multiply the divisor with the quotient. That will give us u plus three. Let's write it over here. Change sign of the lower terms. And let's get rid of these terms. And this will be negative three. Now we know that long, 
after long division, we can write it in the form of quotient plus new remainder over divisor. So quotient is 1 plus remainder is negative 3 over divisor is u plus 3. So now we can see we have split this fraction into two different parts. And I can say that this fraction is now, if I want the integral of this thing, I actually want the integral of these two terms. So now I want integral of 1 minus 3 over u plus 3. Now this will be a very similar, uh, very simple idea. We're going to break these two terms into two parts. We will integrate one separately and we will integrate 3 over u plus 3. I'm going to save a step over here. I'm going to send 3, uh, which should be written over here, to outside this integral sign, and I'll have 1 over u plus 3. Now, for this term, you can easily see that the integral of 1 would be, with respect to u, will become u. And over here, we can understand that the box is u plus 3. If the box is u plus 3, the differentiation of box is 1 which is present in the numerator. And we can use this function, this integral property, to convert it into a logarithm. So this will become negative three times. This whole thing will become natural log of u plus three. And this is the final answer for this integral. Now, as you guys can see, this is not a simple problem to think about, and this becomes really difficult in the example if you have not seen this tactic beforehand. If you're seeing this tactic for the first time, make sure you remember it, and it might just save you in your exam on your exam day. If you've seen this uh, tactic for the first time, I'm sure many of your friends have not seen it before. Mm -hmm. So I would really appreciate if you guys do share it with your friends. If you have any comments, any requests for any particular questions, leave us a comment below and we'll try to do that as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.